Yep, they do. So we're going to try and check out what's going on along Twin Dams Road. So the elephants did decide to go off this way, um, but there's a couple of young bulls who are busy sparring just on the road there, just up ahead of us, while the rest of them disappear through into the open area. The other young bulls are oh splashing around. Oh, sorry. Making their way into the water there. Just while the rest of the herd are making their way off into the open area. So that is just lovely to <laughs> With the youngster still looking on. Amazing. <laughs> I want to be an elephant now and play in the water. It's just a little bit too cold for me as a human. <laughs> But that looks like a lot of fun. Oh, and we've got the little youngster going to go have a go at the blacksmith lapwing again. <laughs> he is going to be a handful. Come on, little one, you're getting left behind. Hi, Yana. Yana asking if I've ever been charged by an elephant. I have. Uh, there was a female that she was halfway between a warning charge and a full-on charge, but there was enough vegetation between us and her that slowed her down. And it was actually more displacement behavior than anything, because I think uh, uh, the lions, we think, were in the area, and I think they'd been upset by them. Um, they were a little bit more on high alert than what they would normally would do, so I stopped quite a distance from them, a good 80 meters or so, and maybe more, and I went have but it just, got to breaking point and she decided she was going to displace her behavior towards to me and uh, she came for us but she as I say she had to go around the bushes a little bit so she didn't have a full charge so by the time she got to us she had slowed down quite considerably and I just thought something said to me in my head don't shout so I just said hey lady what's this and it almost broke her concentration and she stopped about four meters from us, something like that. But sometimes whatever you do, it's not going to stop them and you just have to get out of there. And it's trying to know when that's going to be. Because sometimes if you actually move, that triggers them to follow and that sort of changes the behavior to actually follow through. So it's trying to read that behavior of when they are just warning you or where you know where the best thing to do is to actually get out of there if it is a full-on charge but obviously we try and avoid getting into that situation in the first place but the more you go into the bush the higher the possibility of actually having an incident like that because as I say every day is different and you do what you can to limit it and sometimes you find yourself in that situation but these boys are having an absolute party. <laughs> I was going to say jaw, but I suddenly realised people aren't going to really understand that. But that's what we call a party down here in South Africa. Hi, Jason. Jason asking why elephants spar. Um, they're actually learning how to place their tusks, where to place their tusks, learning what uh, their capabilities are, they're building up the muscles, so when the day comes that they really have to do this for real, and they're fighting over a female, 
because they're not territorial, it will be over a female, then they know what to do. So this is all very important behavior for them. Now, like I was saying earlier, you can't really go off just tusks alone. Uh, some elephants will grow longer tusks than others. And you can see these two boys, they do actually have different sized tusks, but they look roughly about the same age. Maybe a year or two difference, but not much. But the bull that's now in view, he looks like he's got slightly longer tusks than the bull behind him. <laughs> he's picking his toes. <laughs> Now those feet are very sensitive, so he might have stood on something that he didn't quite like. But yeah, quite quite a big size difference actually, the tusks. You can just about see the tusks of the other male showing through there. I'd say size-wise, there's not much in it uh, for the size of the elephant. But yeah, those tusks are probably about three times longer But they're probably both around early 20s or so. So yeah, the bull on the right, maybe early 20s. Bull on the left, maybe about le mid, mid 20s. Hi, Leah. Leah wanting to know how do you age an elephant? I say it's not an exact science, it is a bit of guesswork. You kind of have to look at everything, so the indentation on the head, um, as I say, the length of the tusk, but as I've just shown, you know, there is a big difference between the ages, um, looking at the height of the elephant as well. So these two have got some growing to do. But you try and put everything together, whether they're still with the herd or not, whether they've broken away from the herd. <laughs> Drink break. <laughs> Time out. Well, that doesn't look very nice water. Oh, lovely. So, I think we're going to... <laughs> I think these guys are just enjoying being the stars of the show at the moment. <laughs> These two take a time out. I think we're going to cross over to Byron and see a beautiful orange sky with him.